I got my water, baby, it's so good and it's so cold And I'm not tuned in to the Sounds World Show Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo Sounds World, 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 Sounds World We're Vogue in the Hill, Vogue in the Hill. Y'all, look, it's my favorite, ain't it? Nachos, but guess what? We're not alone. Who could it be? Who could it be? I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. Hey, I got my water, baby. I got my baby. She is so good and cold. Y'all, today, we are doing a collab with the Who Muck Bang Bulls, baby. Muck Bang Bulls. Y'all know who that is, Big Mac, You Love Shiny, Lips, and me, Sam's World. And today, guys, we're doing something a little different. We're eating nachos, but we're eating impossible nachos, plant-based meat substitute, okay? And it is in my sauce. I made it with regular uh, taco seasoning. But anyway, listen, if you are new to my channel, please go ahead on, hit that subscribe button, and the bell. Yeah, the bell so you'll be notified each and every time I upload a video and then what? Boom! Straight to your phone, baby. Straight to your phone. But guess what? Y'all, this is going to be good. Y'all know nachos is one of my favorite videos to do. But I'm going to go ahead on, set my grace so we can what? it. Get to eat. Hey, Heavenly Father, I want to thank you for this food I'm about to receive for the nourishment of my body. And Lord, please bless and less fortunate. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. Amen. Y'all know I'm finna build this thing up right quick. And while I'm building it up, y'all also know that we are gonna have a what? A let's talk about it. Hey, a let's talk about it. We're gonna do a let's talk about it in just a little while. Y'all, to be honest with y'all, I have not tasted this meat. Plant based meat substitute. I have not tasted it. It's gonna be different for me, I'm, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Let me put some lettuce on here. Just a little bit. Y'all know me and lettuce don't get along too well. Just a little bit. Mm -hmm. Put it around the side. Put some lettuce on there. Put some onions. Y'all know I can't wait to bite this. Oh my god. Y'all know I'm the only one to eat these onions so I can put my fingers in there. Cause it's mine. And if you are um, from Lips Channel, Big Mac Channel, You Love Shannon Channel, thank y'all so much for coming and stopping by with me. So glad to have you. And I would love for you to become a Sammy Boo also. That's that on that. What else? Uh, put a little bit of pico. A little bit of salsa. Y'all know this is one of my favorite things. I can't wait to bite this. Oh gosh. <laughs> but anyway, ooh. What else I want next? Let me go ahead and put my cheese on here. Before it get too cold. Put my cheese on that bag. Come through cheese. Ooh, don't that look so good, y'all? Oh God, don't y'all see that steam? See that steam coming out and put that lid back on there. Woo! I'm so ready. Uh a little bit of sour cream. Mm -mm -mm. And some uh, taco sauce. And I'm about to eat. Come through. Come on. Taking too long. This medium too, y'all. Oh, gosh. Yeah. 
Let's get it, let's get it, let's get it. Mm. And a little bit more cheese and we done, son. We about to eat. Sprinkle me, sprinkle me, sprinkle me. And boom, we done. And boom, I'm finna eat. Oh, come here. Come through, huh? Take a bite. Mm, jalapenos. <laughs> jalapenos. I don't know. Why this little brand? Yep, yeah, I stuck my fingers in there because I eat them by now. Okay. Now, take a bite. But yeah, mmm. 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 <clears throat> mm. Okay, I'm in there now. Time to drop some. So listen, y'all. Um. Mm. This is so bomb. And that meat is good, y'all. I mean, I don't know if it's good or not. It just tastes like tacos. So, if you say impossible meat, I'm not missing anything. <clears throat> it tastes like beef. It's not giving me no nasty flavors or anything, so that's a good thing. Mm. Mm. That's a good batch right here. Mm-hmm. You know how sometimes you make food and sometimes it's better than other times. This is one of the good ones. Good ones, real good ones. Mm. I got a friend of mine who was trying to tell me about eating some impossible meat and mm. things. But they are a uh, vegan. And I know like uh, this is not vegan. Don't get me wrong. Don't, this is not vegan. This is impossible meat. Because it still has sour cream and all that other stuff on it and cheese. So, no, it's not vegan now. Please don't get me wrong. I did not say that. <laughs> but, I am going to try it. Let's see, you know, plant-based food. I am going to try it. See how it is, so. I'm willing to try new things, y'all. I've been doing the same thing you know, all my life. So, I'm willing to venture out, try different foods. Who knows? It might switch me, honey. I don't know. Mmm. Mmm. This one is really good. <clears throat> And Big Mac, y'all know that Big Mac eats uh, beyond meat sometimes, you know, whenever he he's doing what he's doing, whatever he's doing. Mm. Mm. That one exploded, didn't it?
<laughs> that one I just had is floating. I don't know if I'm gonna leave that in or not. <laughs> but it was so good. Oh. But like I was saying, please go check out the other mukbang bulls. Big Mac, you love Shiny. And their names, their uh, channels are in my description box down below. Mm. I'm tearing this fool up. I'm going to go ahead and get my list. Talk about it out. Because I ain't going to hold y'all too long. We got four more, three more people that I want y'all to go see. So we ain't going to hold you that long, okay? We're going to go ahead and get this. Let's talk about it. Hey, let's talk about it. Hey, let's give it. It's hot in here. Let me cut my arrow. And I want a chip or two over here. I'm sorry. This is a, this is a big uh, restaurant style. White corn from Walmart. I love these. Last couple times I've had Doritos. They're good too. I like these too. Come through cheese. Mm. Mm. That's ridiculous. Okay. I want to keep eating. Anyway, let me read first and I keep eating. I'm a 49 year old black man and I met a 39 year old black female and we hit it off. She told me she just got out of an emotionally abusive relationship. So I wanted to treat her extra special. She told me that she wasn't used to men being honest and reporting in to her throughout the day. I thought that it may be too much for me to handle because she's had major trust issues. But I stayed with her. I was happy to help her with her bills and even pay her rent for two months when she got in a financial bind. Then the drama started. Uh-huh. And she started comparing me to the old boyfriend. Uh-huh. She expects me to dress a certain way and always criticizes me how I get my hair cut. It's clear she's accustomed to bad boys and that's not my style. The more I did to help make her life easier, the more disrespectful she got. When school started back, I told her I could pick up her son daily and keep him until she got off work. He's 12 and she doesn't want him staying in the after school program because of COVID-19. I work from home so I was trying to help. She had a fit about it and darn near accused me of indecency and wanting to spend time with her son. I didn't like it one bit. But after a day or two passed, I could see where she was coming from. I've been with her for 10 months, so I thought it was cool, but my bad. I talked to my pastor about my relationship, and he said some women don't know a good man when they see one. And she's one of them. I wanted to show her a different way of life because she's a beautiful woman. But my pastor advised me to walk away until she gets help. What do you think? Should I let her go? Sammy Boos, guess what we're gonna do? We're gonna take a what? A big bite on it because I miss my food. Mm. Mm. So Nice man, 49 years old. She 39. So, nice man. Nice woman, beautiful woman. Got her stuff together. He ain't said nothing about she was lazy and all that. Anyway. He even treated this woman like a darn queen. A queen sounds to me. You know, did everything for, check in, but you don't have to check in all the time like that. But 
check in, pay bills, been there for, treat her like a, like a queen. And this little ratchet heifer. Want her man with some Tim's on? I guess a low fade. Mm. Or maybe some parts somewhere. Some little bad boy, little thug boy. Thug. boy you know what I'm mean? calling no thug a little thuggish boy probably a little dope boy or something like that what she used to accustomed to and he ain't that and he even tried to show her a different side of life you know treat her good and, and it, <sighs> I don't understand when but anyway then let me get on this right here real quick too he asked he volunteered to keep her son which is 12 and if she's been with him this long 10 months um 10 months is almost a year guys and I'm thinking that you've been to kind of figure it out. Uh oh, I thought something was on my foot. Ten months is almost a year, guys. So you can been to kind of figure it out, like what kind of guy he is. And she talking about he talking about uh she thinking he been indecent with a twelve year old. Mm mm. Obviously he done been around the child or whatever. Um, I don't know. You know I do say. Let me let me contradict myself a little bit before I say what I was about to say. I do say make sure to don't leave your kids with just anybody. Make sure you know them. You know, do your background checks on them. Make sure there ain't nothing wrong with them and they ain't had no problems with no kids or anything to that nature. No problem. You know what I'm saying? So, but um, he's already doing everything for her. She, he hadn't shown her no signs of being a terrible person or anything. And he didn't offer to help pick up her son. I can see if he was six years old and couldn't tell nobody what's going on or whatever like that. I, think it was nothing wrong with him offering to help her. He was trying to make it lighter on her, so she was being a butt. She don't want him. I don't think she want him, Sammy Boo. I don't. I really don't. She already trying to change the man. No what's wrong with little women today. Who swear out. It's the man. I can't find no good man. Well, a lot of times. <clears throat> that's hot. <clears throat> the women are stuck in their ways and want a certain kind of man. They mistreat good men for real. And let them go. Let good men get away. Honey, one can't even, one, one won't even blow my way. I ain't that woman. <laughs> oh, mm -mm. Some women need to hum humble themselves. Humble, humble, whatever you call And appreciate a good man. And sometimes women, you know, we have a perspective, we have a certain way in our head that, you know, I always put it to me. We have a certain thing or a certain way we want um, men to be. And when it don't fit what we want, we throw it away. But in actuality, what, what the different thing that came in, in front of you might be the best thing for you, but you throw it away, you won't even give it a chance. Won't even give it a chance. Because ain't what you're accustomed to. But if you look at it, what you're accustomed to ain't got you nowhere. But still alone. Mm-hmm. Fast. Nah. What y'all think, Sammy Boo? Ain't that right? Some women don't appreciate a good thing when they get it. And let it go. Mmm. That's good stuff on my face and my nose. Mm. 
so I said to him, let her go. She don't want you. Don't waste your time on that woman there. Go find you another one that's, that you can still wind and down and treat really good and she'll appreciate you. Don't force nobody to want you. You hear me? If they don't want you, they don't appreciate what you're bringing, that ain't the one. Move on. Move on. He needs to go here long ago now. Before he invests too much more time. He's only been there 10 months. Go ahead on the run, brother. Run. Go ahead on the run. That's what I say. I ain't gonna be before y'all too much longer because y'all got other people to go see today. In the mukbang bull world. With the mukbang bull, so. I ain't good too. Mmm. Mmm. It's still hot. Mmm. It's still hot and so good. Oh my god. Mmm. That's so good. Yeah, <coughs> look at that hat. <laughs> mm. Like I said, I'm going to cut it a little short today. So y'all can go look at the rest of the mukbang bulls. Big Mac, you love shiny and lips, the mukbang bulls, baby. And we appreciate y'all all for coming over. If you're from that channel, I appreciate y'all for coming to my channel. And you might want to become a Sammy Boo. Come on, come through. But I'm going to go ahead and go. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. And until next time, bye-bye. Eat this little bit. <laughs> mm. I'm not letting this go away, so I'm gonna go ahead and eat this. Let's say, cut my camera off. <laughs> this was good. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was good. My God. Glory to the nachos, baby. I'm out of here. Try to cut it short, but y'all know. I do my little cleaning. I did a little baby bitty for y'all. Mm. I put my little stuff. I, I bring a little bag of him like I'm shot. I'm going to play grocery shop with everything. <laughs> I put everything in the bag to bring to my room. So I'm going to have to bring a piece by piece, piece by piece.
so quiet, huh? I'm full now. I am. I am full now. Thank y'all for sitting with me while I clean up. Peace out, babies. Love y'all. Ready? Stay. Ready? Ready? Stand. Go. Baby, I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. It's so good and so cold. 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 I got my water, baby. It's so good and it's so cold. I wanna welcome y'all to the Sand World Show. Make sure that you subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too. I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo. Subscribe, like, share, and you can comment too. I wanna give a shout out to all the Sammy Boo. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby. I got my water, baby. I got my baby.